Traveling to a new place and sleeping in another bed can be a daunting task itself. No other place will give you that same safe feeling that you get at home. The places that we're going to talk about today though, take that to an entirely new level. What is good my friends, my name is Nicholas Playlog and I'm going to be your host in today's video where we're going to be looking at the top 5 haunted hotels in Japan that you should never visit. Number 5 on this list is the Green Hills Hotel in the town of Ebino. Currently out of business, this hotel hasn't been allowing visitors since it closed down in 1992. The hotel was already under speculation of being haunted simply due to its eerie exterior and its slow corrosion. That didn't stop two men from exploring it last year though and finding something extremely unsettling. The two boys were in search of ghosts at this hotel and wanted to see if any of the rumors were true. They initially noted feelings of anxiety when they entered the building, but that skyrocketed when they got to the 6th floor. Entering one of the guests bedrooms, they found a corpse lying on the bed and staring up at the ceiling. The corpse had long pants on, a short sleeved shirt and grey hair. What makes this story so unsettling though, is that the corpse had been there for such a long period of time that it's still unknown what the gender of the individual was. The body had decayed to such a state that it is thought to have been there for years. How this person got to this abandoned hotel and then died there is currently unknown, but it has reignited the fire that the location is haunted. Right now it's currently off limits and for good reason. Further individuals who have stepped into this hotel have also reported those deep feelings of anxiety that the other two boys did. Perhaps the individual who was found on floor 6 is still haunting those walls to this day. Number 4 on this list is the Ichiro Ryokan Inn. Similarly to the previous entry, this hotel is out of commission, but that hasn't stopped people from risking their safety and visiting it. A once beautiful spot for travelers 30 years ago, this hotel is a shell of its former self due to the suicide that occurred decades prior. The former landlady of this hotel was a kind woman who lived a fulfilling and happy life. Or at least that's what people thought. She killed herself 30 years ago by drinking a fatal amount of poison and dying in the walls of her hotel. Since then though, her spirit has never left. After her death, the hotel attempted to remain open for a few more years, but eventually it had to shut down due to the haunting. This lady's spirit has a grip hold over this place and made it very clear to anyone who entered that they were unwelcome. An apparition resembling her would often be seen in the corridors screaming and crying at the top of her lungs. Many guests reported that a vision of her was stalking them the entire time that they were there and that they felt very unsafe. There was a thought that they would simply tear down this old hotel at one point, but the people in charge heard a ghostly cry warning them not to. To this day, the ruins still stand there completely abandoned except for the old landlady's spirit who continues to haunt the halls. At number 3 we have the Morode International Hotel in Narita. This hotel is still functioning and can be stayed in if you like, however I wouldn't advise it. In 1999 the hotel and more specifically room 1272 was the site of an amateur mummification. In Japan at that time there was a cult group called Life Space. One of the key members was a 61 year old man named Koji Tagahashi. After suffering a fall in the bathroom and a bad hit to the head, Koji had to go to the hospital. While he was there it was discovered that he had a very severe cerebral hemorrhage and needed constant hospital care. Disagreeing with this, he had some fellow cult members including his son bring him to the Marode International Hotel and begin a ritual on him that would save him from his ailment. This ritual was named by the group Shaky Pats and had them gently touching his body in an effort to cleanse it. This obviously did not work and Takahashi died soon afterwards. His death was no deterrent though, as this ritual went on for 4 more months in this hotel room. Even though the smell of rotting flesh and a decomposing body filled the air, the remaining cult members claimed that he was still alive. After roughly 5 months of ceremonies being performed on this decaying body, the police finally broke into the hotel room and arrested everybody involved. They didn't come fast enough though because 5 months was long enough for Takahashi's spirit to cling on to that specific hotel room. Now, guests of that room consistently report hearing strange sounds coming from apparently nowhere. They also say that they hear the drops of water or running tap water, but when they go and check the washroom, nothing was left on. 
After having a dead body decompose for 5 months in that room, it's no wonder that this hotel is haunted. Number 2 on this list is the Nakagushu Hotel Ruins. These hotel ruins lie only 50 meters away from Nakagashu Castle. Even though this was supposed to be a hotel, it didn't serve its purpose very well because it's only ever housed one guest. The building of this hotel started roughly 50 years ago in the 1970s against the strong pushback from the Buddhist monks in the surrounding area. The local monks consistently warned the owner of this project to build elsewhere because the site he had chosen was on top of some ancient and sacred graves. The monks believed that building this hotel would anger the spirits of these past souls and they would enact revenge on the members of the hotel. The owner of this site refused to heed their warnings and decided to prove them wrong by spending a night by himself in the half built hotel. When people found him the next morning, he had completely descended into pure madness, with some even referring to him as being demented. He was so far gone that he had to be admitted to an asylum and treated by professionals. After this incident, the building was halted and it's never been resumed. Today, the site is full of vegetation and growth and slowly crumbling to the ground from general decay. Locals still believe that it's haunted with the ancient spirits that were angered 50 years prior, and it's been ruled off limits for visitors. Number 1 on this list is the Akasaka Weekly Mansion. This spot has got to be the most dangerous on this list. This hotel is located in downtown Tokyo and is considered to be one of the most haunted spots in the country. What makes this place so haunted is just how many atrocities it has become home to. From deaths, to suicides, to even kidnappings, the walls of this hotel have seen some horrific things. Guests here have reported several different unique strange occurrences from their stay. A common report is white mist flowing through the air vents and filling your room. The mist is cold and changes the temperature of that room so you're practically freezing. Guests have also said that figures will appear in their rooms in the night. This can be at the foot of their bed or in the doorway. Sometimes these shadowy figures just stand and watch, but some guests haven't been that lucky. One woman described standing up and then having this being push them back on the bed, paralyzing them so that they couldn't fight or run away. Another guest describes an incident where they saw a shadowy creature and tried to run to the door. This devilish apparition tripped them to the ground and dragged them by their legs back into the room. They proceeded to attack this individual until they had decided that they had had enough. The person staying in this room came out about this story the next day and showed off her back where she had countless scratches that resembled some strange looking claws. Somebody finally had the bright idea to tear down this hotel, however, instead of leave the area alone, they built another hotel directly on top of it called the My Stays Premier. Similar reports from that hotel have been shared since they switched over. Whether it's the land itself or the horrors that this area has seen previously, something is not right about this hotel in Tokyo. Well there you have it my friends. That is the top 5 haunted hotels that you should never stay at in Japan. Please let me know in the comments down below if you have ever had any personal experience dealing with a haunted hotel before. I'd love to hear it. Please make sure to like, subscribe, comment, do the whole shebang. My name is Nicholas Playlog. And I'll catch you next time.